Hey people, in my previous video I made a figure using ChemDraw in which I used one of the available nanotube templates that come as standard with the ChemDraw software. In, that, in the comment section of that video, Noxus asked if there are any ways of creating carbon nanotubes of different chiralities other than the standard ones available. So this is, uh, it's, to my knowledge, not the easiest thing to do, but I know a trick that can be very helpful in creating the chiralities that you uh, desire. So the first step is to pick one of the available templates of a chirality that is close to what you want. For this, uh, for this example, I'll use the 5.5 nanotube. So the first step in this, uh, uh, in making the chirality that you wish uh, to achieve is to select the nanotube and use the 3D cleanup tool to convert the 2D template into a 3D structure. So the next thing we do is we will actually delete a number of bonds uh, in such a way that we split our carbon nanotube. Then we will reconnect it in a way that uh, will allow us to select the nanotube again and use the 3D cleanup feature to make the structure that we desire. So in this case, I will connect atoms one higher. So uh, I will connect this here. Um, like I said, this is not the best approach. It is very finicky and requires patience, but it can uh, it can deliver the results that you wish. So um, I made three connections here, and it can get a little bit confusing. So I will use the 3D cleanup feature now and see what we get. Okay, so we have something that closely approaches the kind of nanotube we want to create. We can safely delete this here. And then we can, sorry, we can make a connection here. And let me clean this up again. And voila, we have a custom nanotube in Kendra. I hope this trick is helpful and I hope you have a nice day. Thank you.